Hey guys, it's Parker Doman, the Longhorn Engineer. Uh, I'm taking this class called EE445L, which is microcontroller applications. Um, basically, every week we have to uh, design and develop and prototype a different solution using a microcontroller. We're using the uh, Texas Instruments LM3S 1968 Evaluation Board, which is a uh, ARM. It's got a nice OLED display. Uh, speaker buttons and uh, USB uh, JTAG debugger and so uh, this is lab 7 that we did it's a uh, basically a thermometer <laughs> a digital thermometer basically use a thermoresistor which is that guy right there so if you can see that guy and so I'll walk you through what all this circuitry does this is the uh, amplifier this amplifies this circuit over here. This is the uh, resistor bridge area. This basically turns up, uh, well thermoresistors are not linear in terms of their resistance and the temperature. And so this bridge is also non-linear. And so when you have two non-linear, um, I guess like basically two non-linear uh, systems, um, if you design them correctly you can get a linear system out of it and so that's what this attempts to do um, so this is the amplifier chip and then this is the uh, low pass filter because we're, go we're sampling the ADC we have the uh, we're sampling at a hundred Hertz the ADC on the on the uh, arm chip so this has a cutoff of 10 hertz. So this is why this way we don't get any aliasing or anything like that. So you don't get any crazy uh, fluctuations in your readings. Um, this is just a shunt diode. This gets the reference voltage for the amplifier. Pretty standard stuff. So if you look at the display. It's holding off at about 28 degrees Celsius, which is about normal. Um, it also, we have the, the display also displays the uh, resistance of the thermoresistor, roughly. It's probably within about 200 ohms, which is eh, close enough. So if I hold the thermoresistor thermo <laughs> with my fingers, it should, you know, temperature should go up. And the harder I squeeze it, the more it goes up. Because I'm putting more heat into the thermoresistor for my fingers. Now, I'm not going to be able to get to body temperature because your fingers are a little bit cooler than your core body temperature. But, uh, 31.9, 31.8. Pretty good. So if we release it, it drops back down to room temperature.